Hello everyone, welcome to the class of AI and uh, today we are going to discuss something about some part of data analysis about COVID-19 and uh, there are a lot of data available online from different sources so I thought why don't we come up with some kind of data analysis which can help people if they want they can do their own analysis on the data available on different sources so in today's uh, tutorial we are targeting the data which is called COVID-19 global forecasting week 3 data in Kaggle and the data is available in three files train csv file test csv file and some ancient csv file which is for making the prediction so i'm just covering the data analysis part and in the future videos we'll be going to make predictions as well so let me start with uh, the data we have so you can see in the train.csv file we have ids we have province states and if you see so there are different different province states country their dates on which how many confirmed cases are reported within the countries and the, but then the fatalities so for example if we go to the countries and then sort maybe like uh, united kingdom maybe right and apply and uh, so you can you can see so means you can see date by date it's showing that what is happening within the country right so the data is available and which is freely available to download and do the data analysis so what i did i have created a jupyter notebook on colab so if you go to the class of ai page and open this repository called covid19 and i have just uploaded part one which is which you can use to do the analysis so i'm opening this yes you click and it will open the repository and you see i have created this in colab so if you click on open in colab it will open in colab which is a google based virtual environment for running the python packages so here is my analysis which i did so first i have to get connected with my virtual environment so it sees it's getting connected and now it's connected there is nothing no file here so first what i have to do i have to first uh, load the packages used for doing the data analysis so i just run this section run anyway and see all the packages are there and i have used my personal user id and kaggle key to download the data so if you go to the kaggle website you see if you go to the data it is available to download over here and you can see the command which i have used it directly download the data from here right so but just by providing my username and key which is means a kind of api and you see all the three files are here train csv test csv and submissions dot csv right here i just uh, uploaded uh, means loaded my data and see it's in the data frame so there are I have a data frame called train I have a data frame called test and I have combined which I can maybe I can use it in later so let's see what is there in train df in head so we have IDs which I have already shown you proven state if there is no state defined then it will come as NAN the country region will come the date on which the date cases are reported and the, then fatalities right if i say the info about the data so there are this much of ids there are this much of province states this much of country regions these are the dates right so all the information are there so let's see how many unique countries are there in the data so currently there are 180 unique countries data available within this data set and out of 180 countries we have only eight countries whose uh, province are given so I thought just to drop that column because maybe that is not useful so I just converted the date time so I can use it and then I print my data frame so you say now the province has been dropped IDs are here country region is here confirmed cases and then fatalities so we will try to answer these questions so this is how you load your data basically right so now 
what we are going to do we are going to do some kind of data exploratory analysis and we are going to uh, we are going to answer this question in our next tutorial so in our next tutorial we are we are going to see that how to answer these questions or one by one and then in the later part of the series we are going to see how to make the predictions so we are going to make the prediction on test.csv file right which is available over here so can i show you first of all means i have already shown you how this train.csv file looks like but if i right click it on download you see i get that file downloaded and then test.csv file so both the files are downloaded in my download and if i go over here in my home if i go to my downloads so you see my train.csv file is here if i open it with microsoft excel you see the files will look like this and you have seen in my analysis i have dropped this column so it's started from the date 22nd of january and for each country the data is available up to 3rd of april which is today yesterday and so these are 281 confirmed cases and six fatalities and if i go to the uk or somewhere some other countries maybe canada you can say you can see the canada started reporting and then on third there are 1100 uh, 1174 uh, cases in this particular part of canada and these are the fatalities so if the province are given the province will give itself a number so we have to sum it so this is how the data will look like and in the later part where we are going to make the predictions so we open this and open this part right and see the province state again is given country region and date is given so you can see for this much yeah so currently we are on the 3rd of april so we means if we train my model today i'm going to make the prediction for tomorrow onwards so i can make the prediction for tomorrow onwards up to 7th of may this is the target of this series so because we don't we don't know what is the situation going to be so we are just trying to make the predictions so thank you for watching the first part of this tutorial and in the next part of the tutorial what we are going to do we are going to see how we are going to do the data analysis to answer these questions first so thanks for watching keep subscribing my channel and uh, we'll start the part two of this particular uh, means